Hello friends, today we will be looking at Firefly inside Photoshop. Firefly is Adobe's generative AI tool and is now implemented inside of Photoshop and everyone with access to Photoshop can now use it in the beta version. So I thought we'd check that out. And hey, if you're new to the channel, my videos are all about generative AI and AI art in general. So welcome. By the way, how do fireflies start a race? Ready, set, glow. So here's a photograph of me, which was generated in uh, Stable Fusion just now. So this is an AI image of me. And while it's not amazing, it will work great for this purpose. Now, when you start Photoshop or when you use Photoshop, you're not going to see Firefly instantly. You're going to have to use a selection to get that feature. So now I have selected the shirt here and those weird leather suspenders that looks rather thick. And then you get this little um, menu down here and here you have generative fill. And if you click that, you get a text box where you can put your prompt. So let's try something like astronaut suit. Now we're generating and we're gonna get a few renders to choose from here. And what's good about this tool is it actually blends the image fairly well. However, this is not an astronaut suit, it's just a regular suit. But we can see here, first down here is one of three. So you can go between them here and you also have them up in the properties here so you can see them. Now, these are more in line with the astronaut suit, but uh, let's try and generate again, see if we can get some better results. Now, this is all run in the cloud, so it's not my machine doing any of the rendering. That's on Adobe's part. I think this is fairly cool, some kind of modern suit. And if you see here, if you target the background, the original image, we don't see the, the renders anymore. However, if you go back here to our generated layer, you can actually see all the variations still there so it's not destructive in any way and you can also hide and show that layer again let's use the object selection tool here and let's select me here i'm going to use the quick selection tool here make sure to sample all layers i'm going to add the hair up top here there we go so now i have a pretty decent selection of myself now i want to change the background here so I can either press the invert selection down here or control shift I or command shift I, depending on if you're a Mac or PC. So let's add another fill here. So let's try spaceship interior. We are generating. Now we've got a couple of examples with spaceship interior here. However, the edge is fairly bad on these. So we're going to take a step back here. I'm just going to control Z and get our selection back and then go here and I'm going to expand the selection by about two pixels. You can see we're getting above the edge here a little bit. And let's try that again. Spaceship interior. Actually, it's that futuristic spaceship interior. And this is all inside the base version of Photoshop. We're not using any standalone plugins, extensions, or anything. I think this one's fairly cool. It blends all right with the colors as well. Let's see if we can add something up here. I'm going to select this area here. I'm going to type in sci fi visor when we're generating. Now, you're not getting all the advanced settings that you might get in other generative AI tools like Stable Diffusion, where you have a multitude of settings to learn and work with. However, this is very easy to get started with and, and very easy to use, especially if you're used to Photoshop already. Now, these are okay. I would say the first one and the third one here, they're pretty good. The second one is, well, it's okay-ish. We get a good shadow here but the right side isn't isn't great so i think i'm going to use going to use this one here and let's see if we can add i think i actually i don't have an earring but apparently i have one in this image so let's see if we can uh, improve on this let's add silver earring with ruby let's see what happens now in other ai tools you can roughly paint something in like a ruby and then work from the colors but in firefly as of right now especially in photoshop you're getting 
a new generation. So you don't have much control. Now we didn't get any rubies. However, I think, um, I think it's still fairly cool. It's kind of in the wrong spot though, but I think that's part of my selection and what was, what was there previously. Let's add, it on. Let's add another one then. Diamond earring. So there we go. Got a little stud there. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I think that's fairly good. And like I told you previously, this is a non-destructive way of working. So we can go straight back to our previous image. And like we could just add the diamond uh, studded earring there. Or the visor, for example. Well, now it's adapted to the background here. So you can see the, the new background. So you don't have to mask that out. This just showing you the potential of uh, Firefly inside of Photoshop. Now, let's say that we want to expand this image. Let's use our crop tool up here. Um, let's add to the left here. And we're just going to take a selection right here. And we're going to type in futuristic spaceship interior. And now we'll expand our image to the left here. There we go, we have our expanded image. We have, again, three versions to choose from. Now I'm gonna pick the first one here. I think this is fairly cool because the lighting of my face here, you can see this light part, works pretty good with this light coming from the little window here. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna add an uh, adjustment layer, the curves here. I'm just gonna add some slight contrast to the image. Oops, maybe a little more. And let's get rid of some of that harshest blacks there for a more cinematic look. Well, maybe it's a little blown out in the whites. Let's desaturate it a little bit. And we're just going to add sharpen and unsharp mask here. You should run this at 75% at 2 pixels. Well, maybe that's a little bit strong for that one. Let's do one. So there we have it from an AI generated image of me. We now have an AI generated image of me as a futuristic astronaut with, well, a diamond studded earring, some kind of uh, futuristic visor sitting in a spaceship. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Let's try something else. So we've got this image here I've got from Pexels. So we're going to change some of that image. First off, let's give her a shirt here. Blue casual shirt. Now we have a pretty wide selection. Let's see if that works for us this time. There we go. That's pretty good. We got some um, broken parts here, but um, the torso and the shoulders are fairly good. Let's check the other ones. I think this one's the best one because she, it actually looks like it's tucked into the skirt here. Also the second one, it looks like it's a, it's a little tuck there and then it falls out behind that. So both of those are pretty good. But let's go with third one, like we said. And now let's see if we can give her a necklace of sorts. There we go, maybe down here like that go with the necklace now the good part about firefly is you don't have to have a lot of advanced prompt skills you can use fairly simple prompts now if you're looking for something very specific of course you're going to need to do more than that and now we just wanted the necklace so we're getting all kinds of necklaces this is a pearl necklace this is another necklace with um the sort of a copper color tone. This one's kind of going into her neck, so that's not great. The pearl one is uh, was actually pretty good. So let's take that one. And you can see if we zoom in, it's uh, it's got some nice detail, all right. And it's fairly fast. Now I've been working, let's check this image. It's actually, uh, so it's a 4,000 by 5,000 pixel image. And the generations are quite fast. Now, if you don't want this little, um, bar here moving around you can actually press here and you can set pin bar position now it will stay fixed to where you set it for example you can have it down here in the corner next to me so it doesn't get lonely if i move around you can see it's still there let's see if we can add some sunglasses to her i've noticed that eyes are generally hard to work with but let's see if it works here sunglasses maybe would have 
needed a bigger selection, but let's see what we get. We have one, two, three. Now that's some wild glasses. The first one's kind of moved into her head here, but I think that's my selection's fault, honestly. The second and the third one are, uh, got some very designer vibes, so uh, let's go with the third one here. There we go. Let's see if we can add rings to her fingers. Oh, this will uh, be there. That's cool. A sneaky little bee is a happy, happy little surprise in our image. Let's see, let's take this finger here. And let's add, let's see if we can work with numbers, three rings on a finger. Now the first one didn't work, neither did the second or the third. So let's try and change our prompt and let's just put three rings there. Maybe we'll have to do one ring at a time. Let's see. Now we are using the beta version of Photoshop. As this um, is available for everyone, it's, however, not available in the live version. We didn't get any rings here. Let's try and just going to delete that layer. And we're going to make a new selection here. And we're going to type ring. Silver ring, actually. And this tool is so powerful. It will help creators and photographers and, and retouchers do amazing things. See, now we got a couple of rings here. Three, actually or, well, not three rings, but three versions of a ring. I'm going to use this one here. All right, so we have a ring here. We got our necklace. We got the very designer vibe, futuristic sunglasses. So let's say that you do like this uh, image, but you feel that you want to change the sky here because this was a perfect day, but the weather, well, it was not. It was clearly cloudy and you want to change that. So make a rough selection here you can probably do this a lot better or we can use the automatic selection or the object selection tool again but just for the sake of showing you this will be a rough selection so the hair will not be perfect but uh, you'll get the point of what we're trying to do i'm going to add clear blue sky here so here we have uh, three versions with the clear blue sky and it's blended nicely here with the background and the depth of field blur is uh, pretty good. It's not great around the hair, but uh, that was to be expected with our uh, selection there. That also gave us a little more of um, her, I can see now. You see there? So it's not perfect as of yet, but uh, give it a couple of renders and generations and uh, you'll get there. Let's see if actually we can change her hair now. So we're selecting all of that hair. There we go. There we go. And we're going to add in blonde, long hair. Hopefully it will understand where this hair is located and adapt. And looking at the results here, we can see it actually blends quite nicely with the background. Now it's a completely different set of hair compared to the original, looking at, see here. However, it blends much nicer with the image. Let's see if Generative AI can just remove this part here. So let's just take that and just generate a fill without a prompt here. And now we'll read from what's around an image and hopefully add blue. Now we could add something from the face, but um, let's see what Photoshop and Firefly gives us. We got rid of that. We still have a little part here, um, but that's um, barely noticeable unless you know what's going on. And you zoom in, you can see it's not great here. We have some resolution issues here from the necklace as well. So that's not perfect, but you can select those areas and work with that. But in general, I think this is a pretty good picture. And let's see, depending on, uh, let's group these together and just compare it to what we started from. So this is the original image and the changes that uh, we wanted were on the shirt here. We added some jewelry and uh, the glasses. So apart from the little blemishes we got along the way, I hope I've shown you how Firefly inside of uh, Photoshop works and how powerful it can be for, well, anyone using Photoshop. 
If you like this content, feel free to like and subscribe, but I'm not your boss, so do whatever you want. As always, have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.